Alright guys, welcome back to some Planet Zoo. Today we are going to be building that um, like reptile or like exhibit um, building I was talking about last episode. Um, and yeah, I think it came out good. Um, there's a lot of stuff I did learn in terms of buildings and things like that. Like doors don't actually work in the game. Um, so you just put them on a wall, which I did not know. But yeah, I also bought two of the DLCs, um, the American pack and the uh, European pack or whatever. So we got new animals and shit and um, some new props and whatnot. We are, oh yeah, we did lose our sable antelope. I adopted a new one. His stats are terrible, but I did what I could at the time. But yeah, he, uh, our oldest sable antelope dropped dead, sadly. But, I mean, he, he lasted a long time. We're in year 13 of the zoo. So, he he lasted a good time. Good amount of time. But, uh, yeah, so this this uh, build was um, kind of hard. It was It just took me a lot of time. It took me about an hour and a half. And this whole video is going to be that full hour and a half just summed up. So, yeah, um, we are going to be doing the Komodo Dragons in next episode, um, and hopefully those go well. I really, I really hope I can do something cool for the Komodo Dragons. I just don't know what I want to do just yet. They're, they are going to go over there by the Galapagos tortoises, though. But anyway, on to the build. So, uh, right now I'm just clearing some space, moving these exhibits out of the way and stuff like that, um, just so I have some room to build with. And yeah, so now I'm just uh, put adding in some new paths, and then we're gonna get kind of like the layout going for the front of the building, and then um, we're gonna do pathing. I couldn't figure out which path I wanted to do for like the interior. Um, I ended up going with just like this horizontal wood um, pathing, see right there, yeah. Ended up doing that. Um, this place ended up being bigger than I thought I was going to do, too. I didn't... There's not that many exhibits that can go in here. Only, like, four exhibits can go in here. Maybe six, but it's it's more like four exhibits. Just because it's really weird when you place exhibits on, like, pre-existing uh, grids. I'm sure if I wanted to, like, delete everything and then put the exhibits down, I'd probably make it better, but... And then, yeah, so we're going to do, like, a little food court area over here. Oh, sorry. <sighs> and I think the food court area came out pretty good. But now we're going to start doing the walls. And this is what took me probably the longest was just figuring out how to do everything. So I, I'm putting walls down everywhere. Um, I'm leaving this gap in the back so I could do the food court section. And then have, like, a staff path going outside. Um... But then, yep, just put in the wall, the doors down. I was trying to, I was going to do it too high. Decided not to do it too high. Um, so it's kind of a short building. And then I was putting these frames in because I thought that's what you had to do for the double doors. The double doors are very tiny and do not fit that at all. And then if you go and put in like the special pieces of the doors, of, of the uh, walls, I mean, they just don't even fit in the fucking frame, so... It just ended up not even mattering. That's another thing, too. I probably wasted a good, like, 30 minutes on trying to figure out how the fuck anything worked. And then I ended up just Googling shit. And it helped out a little bit, but not a lot. <sighs> and then I kept struggling to build on the grid with certain props. Like, it just wouldn't do it. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why but uh, i mean that's what happened um but yeah so i'm sitting here still just st struggling dude i could not figure out how how i was supposed to do anything and then i stopped googled and it turns out that they they just walk through walls anyway so doors don't matter but as you can see here i put double doors down right and then i went to the walls and it turns out none of the wall pieces fit those gaps at all 
So that's fun. But legit, just none of them fit. They're either too big or too small or they just don't fit. It sucks. Yep, I'm just sitting here struggling. This is a very uh, shit video, by the way, in terms of building. I, the building itself didn't come out as good as I wanted it to. And I was going to go more in depth with it, but I just didn't really know how to do much. And then I'm putting down the pathing before I put in the wall and shit. Just to be safe, make sure it doesn't mess up. But, um... Yep, so I ended up just finding out that doors don't matter, so I'm just putting doors on the fucking wall. And then on the inside, I found out that you could put the the guard, uh, the guest barricades, like they're like little curbs. So I put those on the sides. They still walk through them, though, so I don't really know what to do about them walking through the walls. It's not that big of a deal anyway. <sighs> And then I didn't know how windows work, so I still just went and put in window walls instead of normal walls. Because I don't know how windows work. And then to fi also to just find out that every single window just doesn't fit the, uh, the frames. So that was cool. None of the windows fit the frames, so I ended up doing a barrier, a glass barrier, which was terrible. Because then I also ended up finding out that... Um, I ended up finding out that there's, like, glass, like, panes just in the, like, construction stuff. So, that was cool. But, yeah, I ended up, I did this, because I was like, this is the most logical thing to do, I guess. And, yeah, uh, that was, I, I wish I didn't do that, but I did. But yeah, so apparently there is just, like, glass, like, panes in the construction. I don't remember exactly where. I think it was in, like, wall decorations, actually. But yeah, um... Yep, so I'm just going around doing that. Putting the fucking glass barrier, because for some reason I thought that was a good idea. I mean, I, I don't know, dude, I was struggling, I couldn't figure out how to do anything, I was, like, getting kind of annoyed, like, right away, because I just could not understand what the fuck I was doing wrong. <sighs> and now, just doing that last door over here, this is also two double doors on this side. And then the most annoying part that I thought was a good idea, and it ended up not even looking that good, is I'm gonna go and put frames on every single one of these windows see and that right there is where i was like oh wow there's fucking glass panes whatever but so i decided to do some trim on the bottom and the top of each window i was gonna do it the whole way around but then then once i did the bottom and top i was like fuck i don't really want to do it because i have stick drift so it's really hard for me to place anything down without it moving a shit ton and then also when I would put it down and then I would zoom out and it would just disappear. So I would have to like replace it. But as you can see here, it's a lot of me just struggling because the stick drift. It would push it in a little bit. And it would just fuck it up. But I did that the whole way around. I think they look fine. I just wish I did the trim on the side as well. But I... I at that point, I was just annoyed and didn't feel like doing it anymore. I mean, I think they still look good. The glass is also crooked in every single window because it's a barrier. But... <sighs> oh, shit, sorry. Um, But yeah, this is... I don't know. I don't know why I did those barriers. I really don't. I was just trying to learn and... I mean, I ended up not watching videos on how to build anything, because I've just been busy. So I just went for it and tried. I'll probably renovate it at some point, you know? Just like the other two habitats. At some point, I'll probably just redo them. Because those first two habitats we did were not that good. So, at least compared to the other habitats we've done so far, I would say those first two were not great. So I'll probably renovate those at some point along with this building. Um... 
because I have been seeing more stuff and I'm kind of learning um, and I'm kind of getting ideas on things I could do in the future. So we'll just we'll see how it goes. I think as we get deeper in this series, I think I'll be able to do more and more stuff. I think I'll get better at more and more stuff, you know. I, it, it definitely would benefit from me playing on mouse and keyboard, but I don't have one. And I don't really have a way, a good way to play mouse and keyboard. But, yep, just doing this trim all the way around. This trim was this trim took like 30 minutes <laughs> it took like 30 minutes to do all that trim just because nothing was getting placed correctly it's crazy though too i thought this wasn't going to take me that long and then like three hours passed and i was like what the fuck it wasn't three hours of non-stop playing and filming but it was three hours from when i started to when it was done and then this is me i, I was gonna make it um too high ended up deciding not to but i still wanted to have like a uh, a curved roof a little bit i don't want it to be flat so i was gonna do it like that and i think i ended up shrinking it because um i couldn't figure out how to do the sides well so it's still too high everywhere but there, it's not like two floors i was gonna do two floors with stairs and shit Decided against that. I also don't know how to use stairs in this game, so <laughs> I think I would just make the path higher, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so I couldn't figure out how to do how to like do the gaps for this one. I, there's I didn't know if I needed like a half wall or something. I don't know. So I ended up just deleting those other two layers right now. Just said fuck it, deleted the two layers. It's only gonna go up one. Oh, yeah, and then I did this, which was a dumbass idea because I couldn't figure out how to get anything else to work right. Yep, so I just make the whole roof flat, and then I do half walls everywhere. And then just each side where there's doors, it goes up to these uh, flat roof panels. This took forever, too, just to fill this in. It took, like, five minutes of just me clicking X and filling shit in. And because of the stick drift, I clicked X, and there's probably, like, parts where there's, like, two or three fucking roof pieces. But, so, yeah, just doing the doing the little uh, angles um, by the doors, and that's really it. And then just filling in the gaps with the half wall. And, I mean, I think the overall shape of the building is fine. I like the L shape. That's what I wanted. The roof is the one thing I kind of didn't think about until I was already doing it. So, the roof, I feel like, was kind of half-assed. But, but then right here, as you see, I'm just filling in, doing a half wall everywhere. And then doing a normal wall. And I think it came out all right, to be honest, the actual exterior. Um, I know I could have done better if I probably took a few more hours, but this was just something I wanted to just attempt to do. And it came out all right. The interior is the one thing where I kind of lost their creativity. I was like, I don't know exactly how to do what I'm thinking of doing on the interior, so... Here's the food court section. We're doing basically one of each. Um, just because the customers have been complaining about not enough places to get drinks and stuff. Put in two bathrooms just because. And then I'm going to put in a couple vending machines on this side just to be safe. The camera was being all fucking weird too because it's a building. So it was just hard to get the camera to like just stay working. And then I throw an ATM next to this as well. Um just so people could get their money. And then, now I'm, I'm going over here and I'm doing plaster wall. And I'm doing, um, just like that, as you can see the frames around everything. And then, it, some stuff does clip outside the wall. Because I, I didn't realize it until after I was done building. But, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so, 
just like that. Just put in a, la a layer of the plaster wall and then going up and doing another layer of plaster wall for like signs and stuff. And just so it doesn't look like there's a big ass gap. And then putting in just this door um, for the, because there's going to be a staff path behind it. So just putting in a fucking a door so it looks right and so that wall's not as empty right there. And then as you can see, I'm just doing a staff path straight through the walls and then having it rotate over to the main path. But gonna put this on the wall so it looks right. So it looks like there's a place for the staff to go in and out and then do one on the back side as well just so it looks right. <clears throat> and then this I couldn't fix. I noticed that the walls weren't lining up right, but I, I like I would have to redo like the entire wall because just nothing was set up right, I guess. But it's fine because I ended up filling everything in anyway. And then now I'm doing the double doors on the inside just so, like again, it looks right. I ended up doing pretty good on these and them being basically where they needed to be, which was dope. And then now putting in the exhibits, which I can't just plop right there. I have to delete and then put them um, in the middle. So that's why a lot of this space is gone. That's why there, I'm saying there, that we could probably only do like four. Because it just didn't work. Actually, I could probably just put them down and then redo all the paths. At least on that side. I think I could do that and it would fit. And then I saw these signs, so I was like, fuck it, I'll put these above their corresponding stores. So I did that, that took a second. And I think these came out really good too, kind of just put some sh uh, stuff on the wall, um, made it not so empty. And it just lets people know, hey, this is here, come get some, you know? But yeah, I think those came out really good. Um, they kind of bring that little food court area together. Um... And yeah, and then I'm going to put in some, um, like, standing signs next to each one, too, on the, just the ones that go on the ground. But I think, I think all of those came out pretty good. They all fit the wall, surprisingly, too. Then I'm doing some money signs just so people know, hey, there's an ATM over here. Uh, come use it. So just one right there, and then the one right here, because we're going to have ATMs over there as well. But like I said, see, I'm just putting in these standing signs just in between, just so that there's a little bit more, like, advertisement, I guess, whatever you want to say. Then toilet sign, just so people know, hey, there's toilets over here. And I was trying to change the color of these. Cannot change the color, though, apparently. And then, um, yeah, putting in lights now. Uh, I don't like the way the lights came out. There's a lot of them, because I didn't know how many I needed for it to actually be bright. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like the way the lights came out. I also just didn't keep them like straight with each other. I kind of just started throwing them everywhere, because it's like there's there are a lot of these, and this is going to take forever. So there's a shit ton of lights in there, but it's all right. I'll show you guys um, in a second when we go, and I do like a live recording. But yeah. So there's a shit ton of lights in there. They look okay, I guess. I mean, they're kind of whatever. Uh, putting a transformer in because part of it doesn't uh, connect to the uh, other transformer. But yeah, and then I was like, oh, fuck. I wanted all these on all the time, and I can't do that because I don't want to go through 50 fucking lights turning them all on. So they're all on automatic. Oh, I guess I didn't put a transformer in, huh? Oh, I put a oh I put a work uh, staff room back there actually is what I ended up doing, but see I'm doing these little guest barrier curbs because I heard that they keep the guests from like clipping through the actual walls, so but they've still clipped through a couple parts. There is one I, I like these tables, but there is one table that I want to get rid of, right there in front of those uh what that what is it called in front of those uh, vending machines. I want to get rid of that table so. And then putting bins because these people are fucking pieces of shit and like to litter. Um, but yeah, and then putting in a shit ton of benches because I was like, I don't really know how to fill this in and it, we need seats. 
So I just threw benches absolutely everywhere. And then put, put in this little sign up so people know it's a staff room, stay out. And then uh, putting in a staff room, like I said, just behind it, just so that the staff has somewhere to go. And then I put in all these TVs, just so that there's TVs up there, and I thought they would help with education. But turns out, it doesn't matter, because all the TVs, um, they're too far from their corresponding animal. So they're completely useless, and I just got yelled at. I put in this little play area, because I think this also helps education. So I just threw in a little play area with some stuff to do. And I've also put in all the um, conservation uh, boards, so that there's stuff filling up the floor, but also so that I think our education will go up as well. But see, I put in all these TVs, and then when I swapped them to the animals and hit play, I got a notification for each TV saying it's too far from its corresponding animal. So it is what it is. I don't know if there's, I don't know if I should just like change the image and not have it do like an actual animal. I, that's what I should have done actually. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have left all the TVs there, did the picture for the animals, but not have it do the actual educational thing. That's what I should have done. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just having, trying to have education in there so that the people fucking are happy because they're annoying. But and then throwing in the throwing in the uh, the donation bins because that's how you make your money. Some more ATMs, and then now I'm doing the exterior uh, lighting and oh no, I'm doing the wording. I don't know if I recorded me messing with the exterior actually. Uh, but I'm putting in, I'm just doing Zoo Center, is what I'm naming it. Because it'll probably be one of the only buildings at this particular zoo. We'll probably do a new zoo at some point and build actual buildings and all that crazy shit. But for now, this is the Zoo Center. For this zoo. Um, so I'm just doing all this writing. I think this came out really nice too. I think it looks good. It's very basic, but I think it ended up looking good, and it filled in the building a little bit, so it doesn't look so flat, you know? So, I do enjoy the way that this came out. I don't know if I record me putting in all the lights and the plants. I only put in a couple plants. But I put in lights and uh, benches and bins and shit outside. I don't know if I recorded that, so I might have to show you guys in a second. <sighs> Yep, so zoo setter. Then I'm just looking at the interior, making sure I like everything. And that's what it tells me that the TVs are fucked. Oh, see, I don't I didn't record me doing the outside stuff. I don't think I did. But yeah, and then I'm like, why are all these closed? So I do a work zone and I hire some vendors and shit. And yeah, hopefully that fucking fixes something. One of them still is closed, though. Um, last time I checked, one of them was still closed. No one was coming to work. I, I don't know why. But I hired some vendors, some educators, and a security guard all for that work zone. Um, and I hired a mechanic as well for that work zone. Because there's just a lot of shit in there. But one of those sto shops are still closed, like I said, and I don't know why. So that's great. Oh, I did record me doing the lighting. So yeah, I'm putting in this this lighting on the outside just to light up the uh, building a little bit. Just a couple on the front, and then I'm putting in these street lamps so that people could see a little better. Um, oh yeah, I was having an issue with something. They were getting like sh fighting and getting stressed out and shit. Um, but put in the street lamps, things like that, and um, some plants anyway we're gonna transition now into the uh me filming a live like video of the game i also found cherry blossoms which are dope i'll we'll check it out in a second when i go into the game so i'll see you guys in uh one second okay guys as you can see we are here um so yeah, as you see, I found cherry blossoms. I think they were in one of those packs I bought. 
because they weren't there when we were initially building this red panda habitat. So, but yeah, so this is the zoo center. This is how it came out. They still clip through the wall a little bit, um, but for the most part, they go through the doors, which is cool. But this is how it turned out. I, I think it could have been, so this is what I want to get rid of, is that. I'm still going to leave that right there, though. But this is how it came out. It's busy. It's working good. But see. Oh, they're in there now. They're working. Cool. But yeah, I think it came out good. I don't know really how to fill it in and fill up the walls and stuff. Um, I'm not too sure. If you guys have recommendations and stuff, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think it came out all right uh, for our first building. Uh, like I said, I'll probably end up re renovating it at some point just to make it look better. But I think for our first, like, building, it came out good. Um, and like I said, what's happening? Animal stressed? I don't know why. Um, let's go to our animal uh, management real quick. So, we got this guy who's 0.5 years old. Okay. And then these guys just matured. I'm actually going to get rid of both of them. Because we don't want them breeding with the older otters. Actually, I'll just get rid of the female. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the female. Release Herd of the Wild. I think we get a decent amount for the otters. Yeah, 119. Solid. But yeah, and then a lot of these guys again. Quick trade those for 2k, which is solid still. And then these, these are still infants at 1.6 years old. This one's 5.2 years old and it's still an infant. I still can't release it to the wild. Mom and dad are still doing good, though, it looks like, so that's nice. Um, our zebras are going to start dying soon, I think. So we kind of just got to keep an eye on that. She's pregnant, so that's cool. Going to have some more of those to get rid of. And then this guy is now a young adult, so he has to go because we have this guy. I think that's the, yeah, that's the guy I bought. But, yeah, so he, he has to go. Let's release him to the wild. We don't get as much for him, but... It's better than nothing. But, yeah, so... Zoo overall, though, I think... So far, is going pretty good. I like the way everything is looking. I, I do wish the building came out a little bit better, but like I said, we will fix that at some point and make it look better once I learn the mechanics a little more. Oh, I did put a transformer back here. I didn't even see it when I was recording, or when I was editing that video. But, um, so yeah, next episode is Komodo Dragons. Um, let's see if there's any for sale right now. Otherwise, I gotta sit here and try to buy them for fucking an hour. These are terrible. I could probably get away with getting this mail for now, because everything is at least yellow. And then for females, I don't think I want any of these. Well, I could get that one actually. Size isn't that big of a deal. And then let's go in here. Is it only one and one? Yeah, one and one. Well, one to two. I don't know. I don't think they need that much space either. Yeah, they don't need that much space. The fence can be super short. They'll need a heater for sure to keep it at about 90. But they live for... How long do they live for? Oh, 26 years. Not bad, I guess. Hard to reproduce, though, in captivity. But yeah, so these these guys are what we're going to be building next. It'll pro I think it's going to go right here on this side.
because then I could just connect this staff path to it, and it'll still be part of this work zone. And then work zone two is already doing this, and we'll so. I think my plan is next episode, we'll do the Komodo Dragons right here. Do something real cool for them. And then the episode after that, we'll go and we'll redo this. We'll box all these animals up. And then, or I guess I could just pause it. Just pause it, because I'm just going to extend this and make it bigger. And probably add some rock formations, things for them to hide under in terms of natural. And then still probably have this really big one somewhere. Or this one, because I did put in work for this one and I put in the glass and stuff. Keeper hut. Um... I don't know how to fix... Well, actually, yeah, I do. We could just go and go over here. Go to work zones. Go to one, edit work zone, and we could just make this a part of it as well. In this work zone and another... Oh, it's already in a work zone. I don't know, then. Oh, I have to put in another keeper hut, then, huh? Facilities, staff facilities, uh, where's the keepers, keeper hut, I still only have a small, I need my mechanic to start working on that then, I don't get it dude, the keepers do not keep this shit clean and I don't know why. I have them going there frequent, as frequent as I possibly can, so I don't know what the fuck I need to do in there to make it better. I'm hoping when I make it bigger, it makes it better because there's maybe more breathing room. Because they're going to have bigger space so they don't have to be in their fucking shit the whole time. Because it's key, it keeps stressing them out. I think it's because of all the shit. And... Made it so that bitch can't have babies. Because they were about to inbreed. I'm gonna just get rid of her. I can't release her to the wild. Um. Actually, I could just make it so she doesn't breed. That's fine. Start cleaning that. That's good now. But yeah, so... We'll do the Komodo Dragons next, and then we'll expand this, and hopefully that helps with the feces, I guess. And then I need... I need my mechanic. I'm gonna do this one. And we need him to be working on... or her to be working on staff facilities. Because we need bigger staff facilities, for sure. And then we'll also go to vet research. Um, we're going to actually cancel that. We're done with the red pandas and for research, I think, for right now. Because we, we don't really have a reason to keep using or keep researching them. And then are any of our animals level one? No. I think they're all high enough anyway because they, they all have their shit, so... I'm going to have her just start doing, like, le a level of each disease. Actually, Salmonella is the first thing I want her to do. Okay, I already got one for Salmonella. So then, yeah, I'm just going to do start doing a level of each, just to be safe. But, um, yeah, so that's... Damn, I didn't see all this water before. That water is not there. It might have been there. I did not notice it, though. But yeah, so next episode, Komodo Dragons. So, hopefully I can fucking find... I mean, I have to, but hopefully I can find some better ones before then. I don't know. But yeah, so next episode, Komodo Dragons going right here. Should be dope. I think I could do something cool. But, um, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Planet Zoo. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.